Hello everyone, welcome back to Guitar Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix 7 days to die as having crashing issue, it is not launching, freezing and stuttering, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even the black screen which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this app. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about we need to start with a simple restart and that is what we have to do as the first step. For this we just need to go over here in the start, click on this one, go to this icon, go for a simple restart. After restart is successfully done, just try launching the game once again and if it's not working, we have to move to the next step. Next step is all about, we need to verify integrity of game file. So verify integrity of game file is actually a fix. So what you need to do is you just need to go over here to the game, right click and go to properties, go to installed file. Click on verify integrity of game file. So what happens is, the thing is if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing, all these kind of issues causes us crashing issue, it is not launching, freezing and stuttering and many more issues. So if you try with this particular step, this will cross check every single files of the game and they will cross check every single thing and they will be making out whether anything is going over or whether going through any kind of issue. If it is going through any kind of issue, they will be fixing from their end. So this is an important step. So most probably when users are having the issue and they did the verify integrity of game file, the issue has to be fixed. So you can try this out. You just need to wait this to reach 100% and you need to click on the play button. I mean, you have to wait this to get green and once it's on green, just launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not. When successfully done, you can see this, you will be getting the play button. So just try launch the game once again and see whether the issue is solved or not. Next one is all about, we need to launch the game from the installation folder. So most probably all our users will be launching the game from, play, from here on the Steam. So sometimes this particular step can cause the issue. So we need to launch the game from the installation folder. For this we have two methods. One, we, we have a shortcut from the Steam itself. Another we can navigate to using the file explorer where the game is installed. So I'll be showing you a shortcut. So just right click over here, go to properties, go to installed file, click on browse. When you click on browse, you'll be getting a message like this. So if you check at the top, that is this PC, lock it to C, program file x86, steam, steam apps, common, seven days to die. Now from here, you can see the application launch the game from here. So this is what you have to do. Instead of launching the game from Steam, try launching the game from this particular folder. So installation folder that's going to work for you as well. Next one is all about, we need to run the game as an administrator. For that reason, we have to go over here, select the game, right click. So ends here on the same location. I'll be showing it from here itself. Just select the game, right click and go to show more option, properties, compatibility click on run this program as an administrator this is an important step just click on run this program as an administrator go for apply go for ok and try launching the game for many users when they did this when they run the game as an administrator this did work it for them so you can try this out as well next one we need to try with one more step which did work it for many users so i'm going to show you this which is called running the game in the compatibility mode so you can try this out as well so just right click over here, go to show more option, go to properties, compatibility. Now from here, go to compatibility mode, select this, switch, mark this up, that is run this program in compatibility mode. First set this to Windows 7. Set this to Windows 7, go for apply and go for OK. And if it's not working, we need to change this one to compatibility, change this to Windows 8. So start with Windows 7 or Windows 8. So once you set this up, go for apply and go for OK and try launch the game. So if it's not working, you can move to the next step. Next step is all about what we need to do is we just need to move to the next step. That is all about we need to change the Windows language to English. As you can see the Windows language which I'm using right now is actually English. But some of you guys might be using native language like Germany, Chinese, Japanese, Arabic, which might be causing the issue. So we need to set the language to standard term that is called English. For that, we just need to go over here in the search. Go for settings, we need to go for settings. Now go to time and language. Now from here go to language and region. 
So from here, you can select this one. As you can see, I have set the language to English. So if the language is in any other thing, we can add the language, click on add language, search for language. Now, once you search for the language and set this to English, we can try launch the game. Parallelly, there is one more thing. Make sure the date and time is correct. As you can see, the time and time zone should be correct. So some users, this might be turned off. So if that is the case, that can cause a lot of issue. So make sure this is turned on as well as this is turned on. So once you're done with both, just close this and see whether the issue is solved or else we need to work out one more step that is all about. We need to launch the game and we have to press Alt and Tab. So just click on the play button. The moment you are clicking on the play button, you have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. This did work out for many users so you can try this out as well. Just press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. That is what we have to do. So this is an important step and you should not be neglecting this. Just press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. That's going to work for you as well. Next one is all about, we need to delete the saved game file. For that, we just need to go over here in the file explorer. So go to this PC, go to documents. So the games will be saved here. For example, the seven days will be there. So the folder is there, just delete the respective folder. Because once you delete the respective folder, you will be losing all the progressions. You'll be losing all the progressions, but that is fine. Just delete it. Once you delete this, just close everything, go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about, we need to allow the game to window security and that is what we have to do. For this, we just need to go over here in the search, go for control panel. Now go for control panel, just click on this one. Now go to system and security, go for windows defender firewall. Go for allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall. Over here you are seeing the game, 7 days to die. Make sure this is already here and make sure the private and public should be checked. So if this is not checked, so imagine the game is not here and you have to add it manually. So to add is just click on the change settings, go for allow another app, go for browse. Now from here go to this PC, go to local C, program file x86, steam folder, go to steam apps, go to common. Now from here we need to find 7 days to die, select this one and add it. So once you add. You will be getting the error because the game is already added. So if it's already added, you will be getting the error. So if the game is not there, you can add it by default by using this way. So once add the game, once the game is successfully added, just close everything and see whether the issue is solved. If still it's not working, we need to move to the next step that is all about. We need to unplug all the USB devices. So you might be connected with many things in the USB ports. For example, multiple monitors, joystick or even Logitech wheels etc. might be connected. So remove everything from the USB port, eject everything from the USB port, just launch the game. You need to launch the game, after game successfully launch it and if you wanted to play the game with the controllers, just connect back the controller and try launching the game and this did work out for many users so you can try this out as well. Next one we need to perform a clean boot, for that we just need to go over here in the search, go for system configuration, just go over here, now from here go to services. Go for disable all, go for hide all Microsoft services, go for apply, go for ok. This asks you for restart. For those users who are watching this, you have to go for restart. But here I am in the middle of video, so I am going to go for exit without restart. So those who are watching this, it is a mandatory for them to go for restart. Once restart is successfully done, just launch the game and that's going to work for you as well. Next one is all about we need to disable the steam overlay. For that we just need to go over here in the game. Right click and go to properties. Over here make sure this is turned off. This should be turned off or else you will be having the trouble. If this is turned on, turn this off and try launching the game. If that is not working, we have to move to the next step. That is all about, we need to give the commands in the launch option. That is the first command is DX11. Give the command DX11, try launching the game. If DX11 is not working, give this DX12 and try launching the game. So DX11 or DX12 will be worked as fine. You can try with either DX11 or you can try it with DX12 and try launching the game and that's what you have to do. Moving to the next one is all about, we need to try with closing all the overlay application. So for the, especially for the games, when you are launching any high-end games, it is very important we have to make sure there is no things running in the background which is unwanted things. For that, we just need to go over here in the search, click on the task manager, go to start and click on the task manager. Over here, you can see there are a few things actually running in the background. So OBS is running, then Steam is running, and apart from this, a Google Chrome is there. 
but for this will this is the case for me but those who are watching this this will not be the same case you'll be having tons of apps running in the background for example discord is an application of overlay application so it is an actually a threat you have to remove it simultaneously if you check for you know uh, Riva Tuner MSI Afterburner which comes under the category of overclocking application as well they're also a threat so you just have to remove it once you remove it once you remove it from here just close everything and go back and try launching the game next one is all about we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card for that we just need to go over here in the search now from here go for graphics settings now from here go to graphics settings now from here okay, as you can see we need to set the game so just click on the browse so first go to we need to add the game go to this uh, local disk c go to program file x86 go to steam folder go to steam apps go to common seven days to die select this one and add it so as you can see it's already added so if it's already added just select this one go for option make sure by default this would be let windows decide you have to change this to high performance change this to high performance then go for save and once you save the sub just close everything and go back and try launching the game that did work out for many users so you can try this out as well next one we need to go for increasing the virtual memory for that we just need to go over here in the search go for view advanced system setting just click on this one go for advanced go for settings go for advanced go for change make sure this is blank select the local disk where the game is installed go for custom size select uh, the first one that is all about initial size that is 1.5 times the total ram next one maximum size 3 times the total ram so we need a calculator because we need to do a little calculation so just search for the calculator so here the ram of my computer is 32 gb so just multiply 32 gb into 1024 that brings you 32768 multiply it with 1.5 because that brings you 49,152, that is initial size. So initial size is 1.5 times the total RAM. Maximum size, maximum size is 32 GB, multiply it with constant value 1024. So those users, you have to type your RAM instead of 32, you'll be getting an answer, multiply it with 3, because that is 98304. So just copy this and you have to paste it and go for OK. And once you set this up, just restart the PC and try launch the game that will be working for you in my opinion. Even if this is still not working, the next one is all about we need to update the windows. For that we just need to go over here in the search, go for settings, go for windows update, just update the windows. If you are getting any update, just update it and once all done, you can try launch the game once again. And if still not working, there is one more step that I would like to add that is updating the graphics card manually. So I'll be providing both NVIDIA as well as both uh, the AMD. So NVIDIA users, they just have to cl click the link in the description and go over here in this page. Select every details of yours, like what is your product type, what is your product series, then operating system, hence I'm in Windows 11, select respective one. Go for start search and you'll be getting all the released drivers from here. If you check over here, we get 536.23, which is the latest released one, June 14th, 2023. So just download this one. And if you're on the AMD, just go over here in this page, select every details of yours, go for submit. And if you go for submit, you will be getting the option like this. If you're on Windows 11, so download this one. If you're on Windows 10, download this one. So once you download and install this one, try launch the game. Next one is all about, we need to try with, after installing both the, the NVIDIA as well as AMD, you have to restart the PC, which is a mandatory one. After installing this, if still the issue is persisting, try with installing Microsoft Visual C++, which did work it for many users. As I found this from Reddit. So just download the respective one, x64, install, restart is a mandatory, and once after that, try launching the game. Even after trying all these things, and still you are having the issue with this. The next is all about, we need to uninstall the, and we have to reinstall it back. For that, just go over here, right click, Go to manage and install the game. But for reinstalling back, you should be keeping in mind, you should not be installing back on the same local disk. So I'm having only local disk, which is of one TV, that is fine. But installing the game, uninstalling the game and reinstalling back on the same local disk is not going to work. So you have to try the position of local disk. And once after that, try launch the game. That did work out for many users. So these are the possible workarounds can be done when you're having an issue with seven days to die. 
and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye